Hey guys, Infinity here, and um, I'm laughing because it is 1.23 in the morning on uh, 10.24, it's still, I have not gone to sleep from the 23rd, now it is 10, or 1.24, um, and it is 10.24, uh, <laughs> October 24th. 2019, um, I had no idea what time it was and it just kind of really made me nearly choke on my own spit when I looked at the time and I saw one, two, three, um, because not only is that a code to tell you when you see it and you're doing specific things that you're definitely on the right track, um, and, but it it just was 1023 which is also 123 so anyway i uh, i was just about to go into my bedroom and start drawing and kind of get ready for bed so i feel pretty tired as i just said it is after 1 in the morning and although I did have to take a nap today, I wonder how many of you had to take a nap today or really wanted to. I feel bad if you if you couldn't take a nap today and you really needed it or wanted it. Hopefully you were able to get to bed early tonight. Um, and uh, anyway, I certainly was. I think I slept for like two hours, something like that. I crashed hardcore. Um, and... I woke up right before 3 p.m. So I liked that it wasn't like I was waking up at 5, which sometimes happens. And I'm not too into that. But anyway, I was just gathering up my stuff and I was compelled to grab my Shadowscapes Tarot Oracle, which I don't always get into. So that is... Uh, something of note and then I was compelled to start working with the cards and to see what came up now this is the order in which they came up ace of pentacles knight of pentacles in reverse six of swords the lovers the hermit well the lovers and the hermit came out together with the lovers uh, underneath the hermit both right side up and then the wheel of fortune so then we so the lovers is card number seven in the major arcana the hermit is number nine and the wheel of fortune is number 10 so we have ace knight of pentacles six of swords Six, the lovers. Nine, the hermit. And ten, the wheel of fortune. So we have essentially one, 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 six, six. Nine one zero. Okay, so oh, see, oh no, sorry, that's not the night is not. Hold on, let me do this again. We have one one two, yeah, one one two six. Six, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, so we are definitely talking about we're definitely talking about these stargates coming up. Uh, looking at the imagery and the information that that's coming to me when I'm looking at this individually and as a 
whole. This is regarding the, the abundance matrix. This is regarding the stargates coming up and connections, soul family connections, um, soulmate unions. Awakening on a very new level. And really connecting with a, a higher level of consciousness, awareness, awakening, soul connections, mission, um, truths, and all sorts of good stuff there. But I am compelled to at least read some of what the companion book has to say. Um, and this little booklet that comes with these cards is like the tiniest thing. And it's like maybe a sentence or two for each card. It's very, very limited information. But there, because there's the cards and the artwork is so detailed and robust and um <laughs> that's really where your information lies the information that comes in the book or what would be traditionally the information that comes with that is a part of tarot is should be only loosely looked at when it comes to working with these cards if you're compelled to. They are beautiful cards, but they are pretty complex and they are heavily centered in um, if you're the type of seer or psychic that works in um, uh, getting visions, working with symbols, uh, Um, you're claircognizant, clair, uh, clairvoyant. Um, it's especially good for those who have, who are artistic in nature. Um, okay, so I'm going to read, let's, I'm going to read what it says about the Ace of Pentacles. And it says the ace is the possibility of prosperity, abundance, and security. It is the promise of wealth and well-being, of flourishing, and of reaping the rewards of hard work. So this is directly, when I was looking at this card earlier, before I started recording, I immediately heard the abundance matrix and what that means is really tapping in. and even the picture kind of shows you this this really cool gold like medallion thing and it's the sun and it's a big old pinnacle and it's like it's like on the ground but also with the trees it's like really cool and there's all these chameleons all over it which is really interesting because as soon as I saw the chameleon I was like oh wow this is interesting and I had just drawn a chameleon like yesterday yeah last night so um that was the first thing that I saw there so there's definitely a connection with me personally when it comes to um this card and this message hard work and uh the promise of wealth and, and um, well-being of flourishing and reaping the rewards of hard work. So staying on path, staying in mission, staying connected, doing the work that you're being guided to do, um, choosing the highest path, all that kind of stuff will sooner than later, even though it feels slow for some of us, sooner than later we will be um, seeing the fruits of our labor take shape and take form in different ways that are abundant to help us with our missions. It's not about 
opulence and indulgence and ego and having a bunch of shit. It's about needing what you, what you need to do the missions that you're here to do and to be comfortable, to be, to, to eat well, to be able to go places you need to go, um, for people to work with you in whatever capacity it is that you, that you're able to offer what it, whatever it is that you do in the different ways that you do things. And for some of us, it's multiple things. Um, and even in that regard, it'll be easier to be focused, stay focused, be on track, have direction because you'll be able to afford people that you could work with to help you with certain things. I know for myself, I'm really looking forward to that. Okay. Next is the Knight of Pentacles. So... And he is in reverse. Let me take a look here. Okay. And it says uh, he knows exactly what he wants and where his destination is. He moves steadily towards his goal. When he reaches that goal, he strikes all the with all the force of the earth that is his to summon. I'm going to read that again. That's interesting. He knows exactly what he wants and where his destination is. He moves steadily towards his goal. When he reaches that goal, he strikes with all the force of the earth in his... Oh, that is... Sorry. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this. (laughs) When he reaches that goal, he strikes... With all the force of the earth that is his to summon. So, what I'm getting with with this card is this is directly related to spiritual advancement, leveling up, upgrades, DNA upgrades, crystalline active, um, DNA activations, DMT activations, um, connecting with stargates, working with your guides and guardians, um, and working with them in your dream and astral states, uh, And when it says when he reaches that goal, he strikes with all the force of the earth that is his to summon. So what that means is as you become more conscious and more awake and and ascend, as you connect more and you know and are connected with your with your guides, your guardians. And for some of us now we know they have what is called handlers. And for information on that, please watch my latest video entitled The Alpha Centauri. Um, Okay, so it's about working towards the goal of being more connected. And then as you reach certain milestones, and they're all individual, um, you will feel this steady, empowering, leveling up. There will will be specific happenings in your own individual story that will really solidify more of the understanding of who you are on a soul-based level. Um... And you'll also be able to share these experiences with others who are 
or will be or are going through the what you went through that sort of thing so this is for those people too okay so the next the next card is the six of swords And that says a passage away from difficulties. This is a chance to recover after tribulations. So yeah, as we connect, and it's a really cool card here because there's this beautiful, this girl, I believe it's a girl. She's not elemental if I can. No, she's a human. So she, they're, they're showing you kind of what it looks like to be above the negative frequencies. So she's kind of like riding this beautiful crane, I think it is. But she's asleep. So she's like comfortable and asleep. And there's these um, one, two, three, four, five crows that are... that are on five swords and there's one sword that doesn't have a a bird on it. Uh so that's interesting. And she's above them and she's flying away on this beautiful white crane. And so it's kind of depicting you the dark and the light. So there's these dark crows, I believe these are crows or ravens. There's some kind of black bird. And so they're representing with the swords pointing down. They're representing the dark and it is even, it is dark on that, even though it's purple in color, it is depicting the dark. And then she's on this beautiful white bird. Um, and you can see the sun in the background and she is comfortably sleeping. And not in a bad way. As the card says here, your, your, this is your passage away from difficulty. So what this means is it is a portal, a stargate, a possibility for it. Just like the first card that said that was the Ace of Pentacles, it says the possibility of prosperity. So there's always choices and things in flux. It's not like, oh, yeah, you're just going to get money. It's like, no, there's things that need to take place. You need to know that these are the timelines that are afforded to you, what we've already talked about. So same thing here with the Six of Swords, a passage away from difficulties. This is a chance to recover after tribulations. So, again, a chance to recover. You have to decide certain certain things in order to to ride that beautiful white crane above and into and on these higher timelines and the next card is and I just want to see something right now in case I forget because I'm being shown this again every single one of these cards has the depiction of one or more stargates and with the numbers that are associated oh i'm supposed to do supposed to put all these together do some cardamancy with my regular deck of cards to come up with just straight numbers <clears throat> but what i was going to say was also with the numbers that came up here are in direct relation and proportion to the 9, 10, 11, and 12 portals. And, um, and so that's why we're, we are where we are here is we went through the 9 and, and 10 portals. We still have the 11 and 12. So this is the possibilities, the chance. Okay. Next card. Next card is the lovers, and that is the number six card in the major arcana. Okay. 
union, balance, energy, flow, love, desire, passion, melding of heart and mind, forming a union or marriage. The lovers is also about determining values and struggling with choices. The pure simplicity of the calla lily contracts the sensual complexity of the rose. Oh, there we go. I will read this again. Union, balance, energy, flow, love, desire, passion, melding of heart and mind. Forming a union or marriage. The lovers is also about determining values and struggling with choices. The pure simplicity of the calla lily contracts the sensual complexity of the rose. So we have choices that are either literally or seemingly simple or complex, dark or light. Um, it's about... faith the struggling with choices is truly about surrender and faith um because divine union and energy flow love desire passion melding of heart and mind that's the melding of heart and mind is not just with yourself hopefully that those two can work as one but with melding of heart and mind with another and with these coming stargates we are going to see um, a change in kind of how things have been in regards to especially romantic unions for those who have kind of stayed safe and solitary and have either just by circumstances or actively running away from divine union um, either in the abstract knowing that if they say stuck to tucked away the chances of meeting soul family soulmates or twin flames is much less even if they're not you know that could be tucked away at home and either active or inactive online and social media and all sorts of ways and there's a change of course in regards to that now which has to do directly with having gone through these last few or several stargates, having experienced different choices and different situations, and getting to a point where We are working with sorry, I'm taking a look here. We're working with ourselves on a level where the the past Uh, the past conditioned responses to people that we're connected to are not going to be
an issue anymore. Whereas these things like, oh, this relationship happened, this situation happened, this, this trauma or abuse and this relationship happened. And this is keeping me from connecting with other people because I'm afraid of love, of intimacy, of being hurt, of consequences to maybe making wrong choices or decisions and I don't trust myself and blah 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 right so this would be the the theme and the story and the dialogue that would take place for people and what is happening and is going to happen more and more is a change of that a change into oh now I know myself now I trust myself. Now I trust my guides. Now I trust Mother, Father, God, and my soul mission and my connections and the guidance that I'm getting and receiving. I trust what I'm hearing, what I'm feeling, you know, all this stuff. And there's this change from, and we're going to jump. Let me finish this out. There's this change from being more in solitude and more um into being alone not wanting to be with anybody or other people and that slowly coming about and changing as we've gone through these different stargates and really getting more into the idea of being and working with multiple and other people and and having a a a romantic if that is for you, a romantic union um, that is also very much part of your soul mission. And so it's coming out and up out of the, the more darker aspects of the awakening process, the more solitary points that we deal with and then with that said we're going to skip directly into the hermit where it says being introspective seeking solitude withdrawing from the world and giving or receiving guidance the hermit is an inspirational friend and teacher and his help can illuminate the secrets of one's own mind so that's kind of the process of the hermit is to be quiet, um, to, to illuminate secrets of one own's mind and of the cosmos creation, your guides and guardians, angelics, whomever, you have to have a certain level of quiet. So there's been that certain level of quiet to this point and you're different than you used to be. Whereas you didn't have so much faith and trust in things like love, now you do. Moving on directly to the next card, which is the wheel. Oops. The wheel, destiny, the weaving of life's threads coming together, fate, turning points, movement and change, patterns and cycles, an interconnected world. The knot work in the stained glass window is a single golden thread without start or finish. So speaking, and this is the symbol on the card, as you can take a look at that in the images that are attached to the video here and also on the post I'll have on my Instagram uh it is the it, it's also known as the infinity knot and um that it's also a very um Celtic symbol um meaning eternity infinity soul connection divine union uh and 
the here we go with the weaving of life's threads coming together so in direct relation to stargates and ascension and connection and things like this this is the the wheel of fortune coming out directly mirroring the ace of pentacles which was about wealth and prosperity um the abundance matrix and then having the connectedness rising above lower frequency because of that connectedness connecting with um the lovers here then the hermit and now the wheel of fortune in support of all or sorry the wheel supporting all of that so specifically the symbol of eternity or infinity the the ever connectedness of of us um is directly related to higher levels of consciousness and awareness and connecting with our with our own souls first and foremost and then that being supportive of all the rest of this stuff as you can see from the very beginning of this uh, reading, it starts with the Ace of Pentacles. That's a one. That's the that's the divine number of creation. That's the the I am presence that everything needs to start from. It is not the, an ego thing. It is not selfish or self centered. <laughs> It's knowing from the inside out. And that understanding being supported. Okay, so at this time I'm going to pull cards for the cardamancy. As I was talking a little bit ago, I was already shuffling and the four of spades came out. So I was told to leave that out on the floor. So four of spades. Four of hearts. Whoa. A little chunk just flew out onto the table. We have the, wow, three of spades, six of clubs, king of diamonds, five of hearts, and seven of spades. So we have three, four, four, five, six, seven, king. Okay, so I'm hearing the four of spades and the four of hearts together that they're a mirror making the eight. So they're supporting the the wheel as far as the infinite and, and their mirror of each other, kind of the the yin and the yang, the divine feminine and the, the divine masculine. We have this four of spades and the four of hearts, which are pretty much both hearts. Um, so that's that. Okay, so the three of spades right before the four of spades that we were just talking about. The five of hearts right after the four of hearts that we were just talking about. So we have three, four, four, five. Three of spades, four of spades, four of hearts, five of, of hearts. This is representing the previous uh, time period versus the incoming time period in direct relation to the, this mirrored divine union, eternity, infinity, soul union connection. Okay, so, and then... <laughs> We also have the six of clubs and the seven of spades. So again, I mean, we saw this from the beginning, obviously we had 
we had quite the straight going on here. Um, but this is directly speaking to matters of understanding, uh, kind of like choices choosing higher frequencies, staying in balance, staying connected, uh, and moving, moving with that into a new paradigm. Um, kind of another aspect of the light versus the dark, the, the, uh, the doubts, the darkness, the chaos, maybe, the different trials and tribulations that still will come up, but this will be more on on the level of mirroring each other's kind of like issues, concerns, hangups that still need to be worked on. A lot of the transmuting of negative issues and um, and fears and all that kind of stuff that, that really keeps people from each other and really truly from themselves. A lot of this has been worked on and transmuted with, with a good deal of people at least to the point of being able to be further activated with timelines that are in conjunction with staying on track with each other. And once different, once certain connections are made, leaving the astral and getting into the physical and actually having real conversations and spending time together and and having physical relationships things will come up but because we've had the circumstances that we've been through already and hopefully we'll be discerning who we're, you know, having these partnerships with, things will be very much balanced and prosperous of the light going in the proper direction and flow with everybody involved having a certain progression being on mission being very motivated in moving forward also taking time to be mindful of the moment. So not always thinking of moving forward and being in the next phase, but enjoying and living in the moment and being mindful and paying attention to the now with each other, which is not necessarily something that humans have been good at. They're always looking forward into the future that is truly really nothingness without the present and where we're thinking and what we're focusing on now. So we tend to stay very confined because of these limited understandings of ourselves and of each other. So these paradigms, these constructs of our realities will be further changing. This is very much in support of the, of the reading that I did about a week ago. Um, it's like a three parter, pretty intense. It was for the full moon and beyond. Um, I think there is at least <laughs> there's at least three or four 
if not all six of these cards from that reading as well, um, which is very, very telling. So just further support for that. Um, what I'm getting though now is to really prepare for this new moon coming up. We have, it's a very powerful new moon. Um, it's on the 27th or the 28th, depending on where you, you're at, but, if it, um, but we're going with the, with the 27th, which is always an, a power ascension day anyway. So I'm going to be putting out another, um, video specifically about the new moon, um, that we have coming up here in a couple of days. And so please look out for that. I may be more tarot or not, but um, this is to really be thinking about your intention for the future for yourself, what your focus is, where your, where your thought patterns lie, what your habits are on a spiritual level, what your habits are on the 3D level as you're ascending into the higher dimensions, spending time there in the fourth and the fifth, hopefully. Um, and really kind of deciding how you're going to go forward with your energy and how you're you're going to master and control your energy how you're going to clear yourself and heal yourself and maintain your your life force battery if you haven't watched that video about aging and why we age um please take a look at that. It's not as obvious as it may, th as you may think. Um, but it is very important for people to understand. And I guess that's it for now, guys. So I hope that this helped you out in some way uh please like share and subscribe feel free to drop me a line if you have any questions and you can always book time with me through my website as well for any healing or spiritual guidance services you can also buy my art and more of that is going to be available soon so please um, take a look at my different websites infinite love light energy and the key is to create.com respectively and i guess that's it guys i hope you have a great 24th when this will be published it is now currently 2 12 on the 24th we are 48 minutes and 24 seconds into this video thanks for watching or listening, I should say. Thanks for listening to this reading. Uh, very spontaneously was told to do. So I hope that it resonates with you and um, you can take this and, and work with it in the future. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create. And I love you already. Bye for now.